we will learn the following types of fraction. Proper fraction, improper fraction and mixed fraction. Let's start this video with an interesting question. If you have one chocolate and you have to divide it equally among three persons, then how many pieces will each person get? Think about it. Let me tell you, to achieve this, we have to divide the chocolate into three equal pieces so that each person gets one piece. By doing so, each person will get one by three of the whole chocolate. The number which represents a part of the whole is called a fraction. Fraction is expressed as numerator by denominator. The number of equal parts the whole is divided into becomes the denominator and the number of parts taken becomes the numerator. As you can see, in this fraction, the numerator that is 1 is less than the denominator that is 3. Fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. Similar to 1 by 3, there are some other fractions like 3 by 5, 6 by 7, etc. Let's represent them on number line. Can you tell how can we represent fraction on the number line? Think about it. You got it right. To represent 1 by 3 on the number line, we will divide the unit length into three equal parts and we take one part of it as 1 by 3. Similarly, for 3 by 5, we will divide the unit length to five equal parts and we take three parts of it as 3 by 5. Similarly, we can also express 6 by 7 on the number line. If we observe these representations on number line, you must have understood that all fractions which are on the left side of 1 are smaller than 1 and all fractions which are on the right side of 0 are greater than 0. We can say that when denominator is greater than numerator, then the value of the fraction is greater than 0 but less than 1. Fraction whose value lies between 0 and 1 is called a proper fraction. Let's assume that you have 5 chocolates and you have to divide them equally among 3 people. Then how many pieces will each person get? For this, we have to divide each chocolate into 3 equal parts and give a part of each chocolate to each person. By doing this, each person will have 5 parts of 1 by 3 chocolate. Therefore, we can say that each person will get 5 by 3 chocolate. In this fraction, 5 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator. Is this a proper fraction? Think about it. You got it right. Here, the numerator is greater than the denominator. Therefore, it cannot be a proper fraction. Fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. If you consider a box and things in it as a fraction, then the denominator represents the number of things that can be placed inside the box, whereas numerator represents the actual number of things in the box. Improper fraction means that the number of things in the box are more than its capacity. That means more than one box is required to place these things. Some other improper fractions are 7 by 2, 11 by 3, and 16 by 7, etc. Let's also represent them on the number line. To represent 7 by 2 on the number line, first we will divide the unit length to two equal parts and take seven such parts on the number line. Similarly, to represent 11 by 3, we will divide unit length to three equal parts and take 11 such parts on the number line. Similarly, for 16 by 7, we will divide unit length to 7 equal parts and take 16 such parts on the number line. As you can see, here each fraction is lying on the right side of 1. Therefore, it's greater than 1. Therefore, we can say that whenever the numerator is greater than the denominator, the value of this fraction is greater than 1. Such fraction is called as an improper fraction. There is another way to divide five chocolates among three people. First, we will give one whole chocolate to each person. 
remaining two chocolates will be equally divided into three parts and two parts are given to each person. This way, each person has one whole chocolate and two parts out of three. This can be expressed as one by two third. As you can see, in this fraction, there is a whole number and a proper fraction. Fractions having a whole number and a proper fraction are called mixed fractions. Some other examples of mixed fractions are 1, 1 by 2, 2, 1 by 4, 3, 3 by 5, etc. Today we have learned the following types of fraction. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this.